So, there is this podcast video. The title is, No One Wants to Be a Network Engineer Anymore. This is from this channel, Get Stalt IT. The video went kind of viral. 25,000 views in just a couple of weeks. And I want to hear it from you guys. What are your perspectives? I will also mention some of the highlights of this video. The discussion was really interesting. I really want to talk about it and provide my insights. Okay, like what I mentioned over and over, IT industry is huge. In cloud computing alone, there are already many categories and specializations. We have DevOps, serverless, web applications, security, cloud networking, AI and machine learning, and many others. There are also many security specializations. So, what's the deal being a network engineer these days? At 1 minute 30 second mark, they talked about Spanning Tree Protocol or STP. And they mentioned like, no one wants to learn how Spanning Tree works anymore. Here is my take. Many people hate it. Even myself hates it. It's legacy, it's super old school, and it doesn't exist in the cloud. Do we really need to know it? Here's my perspective. Hmm. Do we really need to know it? There are many designs and use cases where we don't need SDP because we are getting rid of the loops. Network design with loops is a bad design. Always a bad design. So fix it. And no, the AI will not fix it. It's still you who's gonna fix it. You can do some researches, use resources like documentation and or generated AI. Again, it's not the AI who will fix it, it's gotta be you. Because it's a design thing. All right, so back to the STP question. Do we really need it? It's legacy, so you can skip it. Yes, but if for some reason you need to know the concepts, configuration, or troubleshooting of STP, it will only take you less than half an hour to learn it. Okay, at five minute, 15 second mark, the moderator, Tom Hollingsworth, he mentioned that you can learn networking by just Googling. And there is no drive for network certifications anymore. Yes, you can learn networking by just Googling, but reading a book or taking online courses for certification preparation is still different. Different experience, different approach. I always say this again and again, the more certifications, the better. And I don't agree with him that there are no more drives for network certifications. Take note, CCNA is still the most popular certifications out there. And uh, Ryan Lambert, uh, one of the speakers, he says that the network runs well today. It's much more reliable compared to 15 or 20 years ago. He is absolutely right, you know? Network was slow and not that reliable back then, 15 to 20 years ago. And 20 years ago, Wireless wasn't really a thing. Now, everything is so connected. Everyone is using their smartphones. And less network issues and internet has been cheaper as well. Now, here's my question. Networking being more reliable these days, does it affect the number of opportunities for network engineers? Think about it. Okay, Dakota Sufer Snow, also known as the Beard IT Dad, and sorry for if I mentioned your name incorrectly. He mentioned that network engineers today is not the same what they're doing versus 5, 10, or 15 years ago. That is correct because network has evolved just like any other technology. But he also mentioned that in cybersecurity, they have this gamified platform and none for networking. Okay, all right, so I will answer these two questions. True and false, but you can't believe <laughs> some network engineers still uses the old technology and uses the old way of implementing and managing their network devices. Some, only few, I would say not some, only few leverages the automation technology or automation tools. About the gamification, actually, Arista has this cool game called Cloud Wars. It's a gamified platform for network learners, so check it out. Okay, uh, under nine minute mark, the moderator mentioned that in cybersecurity, it has much more opportunities. And in networking jobs or network engineering jobs, you need to know everything before the company lets you touch anything. 
Is that even correct? So during the podcast discussion, they're saying that young professionals nowadays, they don't start with networking. And uh, some of them, they actually start with cybersecurity. So they're into security. They're just going for networking because of their requirement. Like they have to learn SaaS, so they have to learn a little of networking. Or a software developer, they need to learn networking for network automation. That is pretty strange, you know? First, it's not a good idea. Or should I say it should be the default? You have to learn networking first before security. I know many people want to jump to security and skip networking. How does it work for them? Now for network, excuse me, for network automation, I've been doing network automation for almost a decade now, and I never met a software developer who has done complex networking programming or network programming. How can they do that? It's always the network engineer who learns Python or Ansible and deploy network automation. It's not the other way around. They also mentioned that the excitement for those young professionals who wants to be a network engineer is gone. Is it true? You won't see young professionals who says, I want to be in tech, I will be a network engineer. That's all gone. Okay, so we made a survey. Who is the sexiest IT professional? We have software developers, security professionals, network engineers, system administrators, and cloud professionals. Yeah, network engineer is not in the top of the list. And to be fair, that is correct. The excitement for the young professionals on becoming a network engineer is not as it used to be, or I can rephrase, or I can rephrase it like this: Kids nowadays don't find it cool to be a network engineer anymore. At 10 minute and 50 second mark, they said the main focus in the beginning is getting all connected, and when we say beginning, we're talking about 90s, 2000s, and up to 2010s. Cybersecurity was just a second piece. Now. People prioritize and wants to work in cybersecurity, then learn networking. I don't know how true is this, that there are many people start working in cybersecurity without the basic understanding of networking. Seriously, this is true? Well, in fairness, there are many people think that cybersecurity is more management and leadership role. And networking is too complex topic and they want to skip it. So probably. Okay, 40 minute, 50 second mark. They mentioned that now network engineering opportunity is starting to become just a skill in cybersecurity or in cloud. So the network engineer position that we know is slowly dying and many network engineer jobs are gone now. I don't agree that network engineer position as we know it is, is slowly dying. I just think that there are more job opportunities now compared to 15 or 20 years ago. There are new job opportunities like cybersecurity, app development, and this is wasn't in demand 15 to 20 years ago. Then there is more opportunities in cloud computing technologies. This is the last and the most important part. The topic was only focused on Cisco. The four people in the video only knows Cisco. Now, this is outside the podcast video that we mentioned. There are many people believe that Cisco is slowing down. Here's the thing. Before, Cisco dominated all networking paths. You name it. Data center networking, network security, enterprise routing switching, service provider, and many others. It's not the same anymore. Who dominates data center networking? It's Arista. Who dominates network security? Well, many companies. But I would say Palo Alto Networks is leading. Cisco still leads the enterprise routing and switching world, but they don't dominate SD-WAN market. Now, here's the question. Do you want to be a network engineer?